Now on the coffee group today, we are joined by a critically acclaimed author and stay-at-home dad to two kids, Robert Glancy. Welcome, Robert. Great to have you on the cafe. Thank you for having critically me. Critically acclaimed. You like the way I just described you? I dad? love the sound of that. Yeah, that's good. Not only are you a critically acclaimed author, but you are a stay-at-home dad as well. So I what am. made you make that decision? Well, I was a general manager for a big PR company in Auckland, so I um, didn't really see my kids very often because it's always that work-life balance yeah. where you you never quite achieve it. But I got a deal with Bloomsbury a couple of years ago for um, my book, so it was a great book deal. So I decided I didn't need to be in an office anymore, and I went to full-time writing. Um, and um, just by chance, my parents have a place in France, and they were leaving to do a volunteer year in Tanzania. So. Um, they had a cat and they said, did we want a cat sit? So it all worked kind of wow. nicely together. I want to talk about that a little bit in a moment. Yeah. Um, what sort of challenges do you face, being a, do you think, being a stay-at-home dad? Do you, is there a stigma attached to it? No, I, I don't think there's a stigma attached. I get on well with all the other mums, you know, turn up in my Lululemon and my latte. <laughs> and <laughs> I blend right in. They, they almost don't notice I'm a man half the time. Yeah, so no, I, I love it. I love hanging out with the other mums and um, there's no stigma. I think some of the dads who can't spend time with their children they are jealous of me as well, you know, they'd, they'd love yeah. to do it. So, no, I, I absolutely love being a stay-at-home dad. Do you think it's something we should all do, or all fathers should try and do if they can at some stage? I mean, yeah. obviously a difficult thing a lot of the time. It's hard to do, yeah, absolutely. You know, we live in such a fractured society, and it's nice to be present yeah. with your kids for periods of time. So, yeah, I've absolutely loved the last couple of years with my kids. I, I, I really didn't see them during the week at all, so when I changed job, I was introduced to them and they're lovely kids, so it was, <laughs> That's it nice. was really nice. Well, it's got good we kids, good well. to know, yeah. very good to know. Yeah. So tell me about this year that you had in France. So you packed up the family, like your children were three and five at the time. Yes. You headed to France for a year, that's a really big thing to do. It was a really big thing to do and a bit of a cliched thing to do. When I quit my job, my boss said, oh, you've got a book deal and now you're writing another book in France, you're such a cliche. Well, it's a good cliche. Yeah, and I said, I'm happy to wear that cliche. Um, so yeah, we went to France and it was an incredible experience. Um, it was challenging as well as anybody with kids knows it's hard yeah. enough getting them to school on time so moving country was a really big challenge but it was something that brought us all really closely together yeah. um, and my kids were great at French and so was my wife and I hid in the shed writing for most of the wow. year and so I wrote this book. So, so you had to take all your children with you. Well this is um, absolutely a great looking book. Thank you. Um, so tell me a little bit about this quickly. So Please Do Not Disturb is inspired by my time I was brought up in Malawi um, which, an interesting line. Yeah, <laughs> so it's basically follows five very different people in the lead up to this big Independence Day celebration that they have, um, and it's got all sorts of interesting it characters is. in it. Yeah. So book three on the way now. Yeah, book three I've almost finished, so I've been working hard, good. so I'm hoping to do that Balancing soon. Balancing that whole stay-at-home dad, author life, it must be quite good. But it's been really wonderful having you in here. Thank, Thank you Thank you so much. Me. I'm sure you've encouraged a lot of people to try the same thing. Uh, and Robert's latest book, Please Do Not Disturb, is in bookstores right now.